busy week for me. Yesterday we dropped the Aston off and it's getting wrapped. It's a type of wrap I've never done before, so I'm kind of excited and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to have it wrapped that way. Hopefully by the end of this video it'll be done and I can show you it. Uh, we're in the McLaren. get to McLaren of Palm Beach because that is where I chose to sell it on consignment. A big part of that is they're able to sell it as a certified car if when you're buying it you pay that extra additional fee and it basically gives you a year warranty. So that's huge on McLaren. And because I purchased not only this but another car from them, they are only charging 4% instead of 8%. So it's whatever price I set that I want and then they charge 4% of the sell price so it should be still a really attractive offer for someone to buy for what I owe and then eventually we'll be out of it that'll free up some cash flow to be able to do some more fun stuff to the Aston because right now I'm still paying for this so the Aston's kind of not getting a lot done but I can start using the payment that I had for this on doing the upgrades I wanted for that. Last remaining things are out. Hopefully it sells quick. Aston's back. I'm about to show you what it looks like. I'm super excited because it, I went a route that I usually don't go and did a crazy printed wrap. It's a little weird driving around in it. You'll see what I mean. But there were issues along the way with getting it wrapped by the people I chose. I'm not going to say it's 100% the people I chose to wrap its fault. But there were issues and it was a good reminder for me. Rational, not emotional reactions are always better. The, re the place that really helps me is making decisions for my business. So it's a really good reminder for you at work, whether you're an employee, a business owner, however, wherever you are and whatever you do, try to act rationally versus emotionally. And a lot of the problems you might come across won't happen. There were some issues taking off the old PPF on it. It, uh, it pulled a little bit clear coat and the way the company handled it is not how I would have handled it. They still haven't technically handled it the way I'd want. I took inspiration from Aston Martin Racing the cars won the Le Mans 24 hour in their class and it was wrapped mostly like this. We had to change a few things up to fit what I wanted. I think it looks amazing and unique and it's a little weird getting used to having your giant face on the side and it says YouTube. I didn't want just YouTube in my name. I tried to be a little different. So the QR code is actually going to take you to my YouTube page. And I thought that might be more enticing than just YouTube slash Busterberg because when you see that, at least I, when I see that, I don't ever go to it. So I thought maybe the QR code would be a little funner. It's gonna be fun to drive around for a while and especially when you get a little more used to it because right now it's crazy. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you think I should add some more sponsor style stickers, I can always add those on later, just like the race car for now. Instead of numbers, I did my face and I did Key Smart, my business, but other than that, I don't have any other sponsors on it because I'm not sponsored by anyone. But if you think it would make it better or finish off the wrap to have more sponsors, let me know and maybe we can come up with some cool brands to put on it if you guys think that's the way to go. But until then, I'll see you on the next one.